Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. This week we got some new weapons, some new outfits, and some time travel. Let's go. 12.7mm pistol, Sig Sauer P127 by Deadpool 2099. Bringing back a classic from Fallout New Vegas, the 12.7mm is back in action. Mods included are 9 receivers, 4 barrels, 5 grips, 2 mags, 6 sights, 4 muzzles, and 3 paint jobs. These include standard, black, and rusted. The weapon looks beautiful and gets the job done as well. Nomex Gloves by Mike Allen and U653748. If your hands are cold or covered in cheese, these gloves can probably solve only the first thing I mentioned. I, the cheese one, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to find a sink. There are three types of gloves, black, OD, and for you wolf people out there, Coyote. The gloves provide a ballistic resistance of 5 and a plus 1 to agility. Old World Ghost Outfit by Quaz30 and oh dear. You get the Old World Ghost Coat along with the brown wide brimmed fedora. The outfit has a number of references to the Old World including Poseidon Energy, Chico Petro, and Robco Security. The coat adds a plus 1 to intelligence and perception while the fedora does plus 1 to charisma and perception. Cross Corsair Recall Collar by Nero. This device gives you a second chance. When activated, it will revert you back to a previous position, allowing you to escape danger or your own incompetence. Yeah, I did jump in that hole. Initially, the collar will require fusion cells to reverse time, but you can mod it so AP can be used for 50 to 85% of the charge. Other mods include increasing the amount of time you can reverse, cooldown time, shoulder height, and a few neat extras. Some of the extras provided are damage protection, automatic recall at 25 or 50% health, and fusion warp, which detonates a mini nuke when you leap back in time. Really awesome armor slash weapon, and definitely adds a different playstyle to the game. APC Home on the Move by Bostech. Another fantastic APC mod, this one features a slightly more roomy APC for the Vault Dweller with a family. Initially located southwest of Concord, the APC requires fuel to move and has 8 locations to travel to. Inside you'll find a fantastically designed interior with beds, building benches, containers, water, and manual saving through a typewriter. Also, when you first go inside of the APC, there's a little mini tutorial on how to use everything, which is pretty seamless, easy to follow, and just pretty cool as well. Whirly Gig Sentry by Athelbross. Bringing back a new take on Whirly Gig, Athelbross has created a Sentry version of that tiny, lovable vertibird. There are four variations of Whirly. You've got the Minigun, Gatling Laser, Gauss Cannon, and Disruptor. These are all located in the turret section of the Settlement Builder. Whirlies can be destroyed, and separately, their landing pads can be as well. If they are, you can repair them in the workshop as usual, and you can also choose to have enemies be marked or have a self-destruct protocol in case things get dicey. Look at my little whirlies. We is my week! Al Chest Bond Pistol by NCR Ranger 94. Located in a hollowed out rock near the sanctuary statue, this one of a kind renamed Deliverer will sing you some sweet Al Chestbon songs when equipping and then when holstering. You also get a few other goodies in the rock including this fancy tuxedo which has plus one perception and charisma and a ballistic resistance of 50. Breach. Albert Breach. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 Mods. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. As always, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the future. Away! You ever rub melted marshmallows on your lips? Kisses. Love, Dad.